Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of the Skya 2 PC. In the last episode, we learned that Demon Lord Etna may exist and that we're amazing. And all those wonderful things that go with being amazing and Demon Lord Etna existing. And we got a Dragon Blade. Which might be good. I don't know. It's going to go for Lady Overkill. We have a few more folks that can join the squad, and we will probably bring them on. What do we have here first? Let's see. <sighs> Down here, okay. Um, plus six to attack. So, the Dragon Blade is plus 21. Definitely an upgrade. And then we're going to go down to good old Izul. And your weapon is plus 14. Wait, hold on. It's plus 14 and plus 9. And the silver bow is 18 and 13. So definitely better. We have a Naganita. Or a Naganata, I suppose. Uh, not really using that yet. The trumpet, I'm pretty sure, is the weapon that we're already using. Maybe? It is. And ours is plus 9 to hit. This one is plus 11 to hit. So slightly better. And it's got a little bit of a speed burst. So, I mean, small upgrades for most of that. I guess that's fine. Uh, we didn't check... Hold on. We didn't check Tink, I think. Didn't there... Wasn't there a uh, monster... There's not a monster weapon? Oh, it's been a while, folks, but the sinking chair of doom is starting its shenanigans again. I'm actually all the way at the lowest, farthest away possible. I hate it. I hate it so much. Hey, there's a treasure chest here now. Hey, another longbow obtained. Cool. I'm curious, is there any more secret hidden weapons? Eh? Is there any more secret hidden weapons? I was wrong, this chair is still sinking. Yes, there is something here. 55 hell. 55 hell from that, not bad. I forgot that we could spin this stuff in the uh, early part of the game. Would have been nice to know. <laughs> it's fine. Alright, is there anything else? Does not appear that there's anything else. Do these guys say anything in the different chapters? Did you know that you can attack while lifting a friend? There are many other techniques to apply with lift and throw. Try different things. Find them out yourself. It may be fun. One day, I just look like this. I don't know what's going on. But it's a matter of how you take it. Now I can fly. Well, you're optimistic. My family is like that too, but why is it that you're such a carefree demon? He doesn't want to tell us. Oh boy. Hey, 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 listen. They said on TV that there's this super overlord that's stronger than an, uh, than an other... Sorry, than an overlord. Sorry, super overlord stronger than an overlord. He must be really, really strong. They're always showing off, but can you beat a super overlord? Super overlord, huh? Seems tough. But if I get the chance to fight him, I'll beat him fairly. I'll never run away. Don't blame everything on the game. What are you talking about? Well, I'm just saying what other people have on their mind. Since I am a demon, I don't care if uh, people get mad at me. Ah, that feels better. What? Confusing. Ever since I got this body, the winters are nice and warm, but summers are extremely hot because of this fur. I can't take it off even if I wanted to. If only I had a zipper in the back. Well, then it would just be a costume. Have you ever considered shaving? I could, you know, help you with the hard-to-reach places. Oh, 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 oh. oh, my soul. My soul. I heard Overlord Zenon was a cruel and humane demon. I wonder why he lets humans live. That's true. Is there some secret conspiracy behind this? Nope. Is his name Piccolo? It is Piccolo. That's great. I wonder if he can eat frogs. Huh? That devious look! Don't look at me with the eyes like that! Now, Hanako, if you eat something like that, you'll get a stomach ache. P princess Hmm? What is it, Taro? Uh, um, nothing. I, I just wanted to call you that. 
I, I, I think I like calling you princess. Is that so? Taro, you're a good demon. I'm happy for you too. Weird. Seems fun now that you have more friends. That's so nice, Adele. They aren't friends, and it's not nice. Why does it have to be like this? Alright, I think we're going to go summon a new person. Hey, Adele, what do you want? Nothing. Actually, I want to chat with you. You seem to have a lot of weird friends now. Eh? Are you talking about me? Oh, ho, ho, monster! Ah, uh, it hurts. Do not worry, I am an innocent demon as unhonest as an angel. Oh, ho, ho. That hurts. How do people do that accent for any length of time? Oh my gosh, my throat feels like it's bleeding. Hey, Adele, you have more friends. He's an interesting looking fellow. It's not nice to talk about other people. Bonjour, mademoiselle. The demon you speak of is I, Tink. Please be kind to a changed gentleman. Wow, how gentleman-like. But, yeah, I'm a guy. Damn you, you're confusing, dummy. I heard those are organisms that have the dings or lings. Oh, jeez. Do you understand? Oh, man. Oh, man. It's fine. All right. Would you like to use the Dark Assembly? I would. Thank you for asking. It's super kind of you. All right. Um... We'll use Adele. It's fine. Okay, we could get some monsters. We could get a pretty, but instead of all of these things... Oh, we... Hmm. I thought we had an archer available. We don't have an archer available yet. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Alright, we're not going to summon any new persons then. Well, we could get a lady fighter, I suppose. Why don't we do that? I don't see the name on my list. Uh, well, we'll hold off. We'll, we'll, we'll get the lady fighter later. It's fine. It's fine. I think we're okay with the crew that we're rolling with right now anyway. I think I want to buy a better weapon for my gal pal here. Yeah? The trumpet just doesn't seem to have the oomph that we're looking for. So if we get 31 plus to hit with a pulse gun... That's clearly gonna do what we need. All right, we got a little bit of a, oops, a little bit of a level up there. We're gonna go to Rosalind, and we are going to not use a double slap or the trumpet, but the pulse gun, which is going to be fantastic. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's uh, hop in and do the next mission, I guess. So, which way are we going today? Hmm. Let's see. Are you really trying to figure it out? I have to do something about Xenon's curse before it gets worse. Don't you want to be back with your father? Then take this seriously. Monsieur Adele, do you not think you are being a bit uh, too harsh? Especially since she will be summoned against her will? Ah, I can't believe I'm being lectured by a talking frog. It is a bit awkward, buddy. If you are determined to meet Overlord Xenon, I will take you to him. Yeah, but sweet. only if you have the courage to face him. Just let me know when the terror sinks in and you change your mind, okay? Huh, I won't change my mind. I will defeat Xenon. Tink, can you handle this? I will be fine. You brought me along to help you end his life, yes? Yes, I need your cunning. Then leave it to Tink. I shall surpass your expectations. I imagine her expectations are probably pretty low. Hey, a murderer's vault. Sounds like fun. Into the poisonous swamp. Hopefully we're strong Excuse enough to survive. Excuse me, Monsieur Adele. Your mother was once a human, but she is a powerful summoner, no? Indeed. She surprised me as well. I never knew that humans could become such great summoners. Well, I heard that she was a pretty famous summoner when she was young. Apparently she's a pretty famous summoner now, too. Eh? Eh? Stole the daughter right out from under Xenon. She doesn't really talk about it, 
But according to the townspeople, she used to get requests from nobles and royalty. Weird. Hmm. Did she learn how to summon all by herself? No, she said a friend taught her a long time ago. But she doesn't remember much since Zenon's cursed our world. I see. You must be very proud of her. But to be able to teach someone else skills to that extent, that friend must have been a great summoner. It's a Zambi. It's a lot of Zambis. All right, what kind of Zambi stuff are we looking at here? Ally damage and crouch. What that means? Purple to inc oh, oh, I bet that means that spreads. Oh, we have to kill that. All right. Purple to encroach. Mm. I don't think encroaching is that bad if we can just kill the thing that's... Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to go and we're going to blow apart that. Yeah, it's, it's fine. I think we've got this. Let's see. Let us see if I am right. Oh. Alright, let's, um... Hmm. Let's go with our, uh, our peeps here. I don't know how far this is... Uh, eh. Can we throw over the pit? Oh, we can. Sweet. She can definitely attack that. Can she attack that with a special? No. Gaia Blast, she can do Let's see if that's enough. Boom! It is more than enough. And that should have stopped the encroachment, I would think. Yeah, pretty much owned it. Oh, wow. We actually did damage to everybody. Cool. Okay, so one of the big problems, I guess, is solved at this point. Let's see here. If we go there, we use our Poison Blast. Looks like we should be good to go. Uh, generally, zombies you would think would be vul yes, vulnerable to fire, which is what I was hoping. Let's see if we can't get Miss Lizard to actually land a few attacks, eh? How about that? Probably not strong enough to deal with everything, but... Too bad. We can get Tink to come over here and maybe do the Sonic roll. Alright, let's see what we got. Not bad. Not really enough to get things handled, but not bad. Sonic the Hedgehog roll, there we go. And we did some damage, we did some weakening of some fools. It's not that bad. What do you have? 14 HP. If we move there, we equip. Uh, not a training staff, but I guess a longbow, which is the better one. That one. And then we attack you. Maybe we'll be able to take out Gadani. Yep. Ooh, and treasure loot to be had by all as well. Can Lady Overkill make it up there? She can. Uh, blade rush. No, it's not gonna work. Mm. Uh, might be able to blade rush this guy. Looks like we can. That's a cool looking blade. That was a really cool looking blade. I gotta say, the weapon uh, models so far I like in this game way better than the. Uh, the original Disgaea. So, I can definitely say with a large amount of certainty that I am a fan. Gonna punch. If he attacked back, would have been a counter, 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 counter. And such. You know the score. I can't reach you. That does make me a tad bit sad. And we're gonna defend here, and I think that's it. Let's end our turn. I feel like we're in a fairly good spot. I don't think we're gonna really run the risk of dying at all. And, yeah, he really didn't do much to us. Let's go ahead and use our Boulder Crush. Uh, let's go and take this out. Uh, you know what? We can probably just Sonic roll our way back. What do we get? 
A gang axe. Eh. It's a bit underwhelming. Uh, let's go here and then come back out. But before we do that, let's move up here. We'll go ahead and we'll use armor break. Go there, we'll follow it up with poison blast, and that should be enough, theoretically. Go ahead and defend. Where's Adele? He's up here. Go ahead and defend with you as well, good sir. And then with you. Over here and defend a third time. Which clearly is the charm. And we're gonna come here, special triple strike. Let's see how this plays. The defense is down, the armor is broken, the arrow is loose, and the death is not going to ensue. It was close. Looks like we are going to have to lay another shot on the enemy. She can still move, or he or it can still move. So, if we go here and then we return and we use our poison blast as well, maybe it's enough to take it down? I don't know, let's see. 16 damage, not quite enough. We gave it a shot though. Looks like there's four zombies remaining. We should be able to get through this pretty easily. And then once it is done, we will end the episode. And then there will be more coming tomorrow. And more coming on Monday as well. And then after that, I'm not sure what the schedule will hold, but we will definitely try to keep up with this. Bring in quite a few patterns of awesome. All right, Meast, you've been uh, kind of the redheaded stepchild of the group for a while. Let's see if we can't get you something special here. Can we get you a kill, buddy? Yeah, we can. Excellent. Well done, sir. You have earned that right, that privilege, as it were. I think we're just going to throw the Zambi into the mix here. Let's go ahead and attack Esteban and take him out. Excellent. Over here, and I don't think it's gonna be enough, but we'll give it a shot. Eh. It was a thing that we did. It's, it's fine. Uh, is that enough? It is, okay. Well, I thought it might be, but I wasn't sure. We got a an axe, so the gang axe we're using is 21 and minus 5. And the one that we have is 21 and minus 5, so pretty much exactly the same. Except HP versus SP. It's fine. We will defend, we will move over here, I guess. We will Sonic roll our way to victory, or at least to a closer victory. Actually, wow, that hit really hard. Um... How far she can cast. That's no, not gonna matter. So we can just move him here. Have him look and throw her. She, the guy might be resistant to ice, but not necessarily. Yeah, he seems to be resistant to ice. Ah, eh, we'll try it anyway. The rotate key is different. That's interesting. All right, let's go ahead and defend. And let's, uh, yeah, it's another turn. This will either kill him or it won't. It didn't. It's fine. And I think he's going to go get himself killed after he spews the zombie juice on us. Which just sounds bad, by the way. All right, it looks like Izul is going to get his kill. Or her kill, as it were. And there it is. Stage cleared, level up, nobody dies, we we get eh, all sorts of good stuff. A buckler, smelling salts, all sorts of things, and a bone staff. Which is perfect, because our casters definitely need some upgrades. Well, this isn't the best place to do this, but we gotta eat sometime. Hanako made us some rice balls to eat. Do you want some? Ignorant brute! Inviting a lady to eat in a place like this is simply inappropriate! Don't you have any manners? Maybe. She is right, Monsieur Adele. Do you expect a princess to dine in such a pigsty? Yeah, you know, when you're hungry, you're hungry. You gotta eat where you gotta eat, man. So what? You're not gonna eat? I shall try some. <laughs> That's perfect. Princess, you are going to eat? 
We mustn't let Hanako's food go to waste. Besides, I'm hungry. All right, here you go. Hmm, so this is a rice ball. I have never eaten food of this kind before. So a rice ball, is it literally just sticky rice in the form of a ball? Is there, sometimes there's what, like food, like meat or something thrown into the middle of it? Doesn't seem all that appetizing to me, but I, I don't know. My, my hierarchy of grain or grains is, uh, or starch or whatever you want to call it, is potatoes at the top, followed by noodles, followed by rice. Rice is definitely not my favorite. It's actually the bottom of the barrel of the three main ones. I'm sure there's other things that you can consider a, a starch or what have you, but those are that's my heart hierarchy of starches. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Psst, Tink. Yes, princess. I must warn you, I am not going to share my rice ball with you. <laughs> that isn't what I was going to ask you. Are you certain I can leave all the planning to you? Princess, your doubt is like an arrow through my heart. Do you not trust Tink? Honestly, I do not trust you at all. You did not even stop to think about it. <laughs> eh, very well, let me explain. That's so good. These swamps are famous for being quite dangerous. You see, there are unique monsters around here. Some of the older ones are said to be well over level 100. Uh -oh. They are thought to come from UFOs. So, I suggest we get this monster to eat Adele. Instead of fighting, we can run away! I see. You are evil. Au contraire. I am not as evil as you. <laughs> That's so good. All who and oppose so my bad. father must die. He desires to fight, so his fate is already sealed. Is it? But if that happens, how will Taro and Hanako feel? Uh-oh. There's an inkling of doubt in her eyes. We all saw it. Welcome to the Netherworld Hospital. Well, thank you. I want a prize. No prizes. All right. Uh, was there anything else that we needed to utilize? I don't think so. Oh, yes, the bone staff. Uh, me, ooh, Miss Lizard, you will get rid of your training staff. <laughs> you will get a bone staff. And it will be slightly better. Eh, quite a bit better, actually. Yeah, that's good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're not quite done yet. Lady Overkill, we can get rid of that. I believe we have a tunic laying around. Eight and four versus three and two. Definitely the superior item. And uh, yeah, I guess we can put a... Old cloth on you to Oh no, you can't use that. Oh, I the wrong thing selected. As usual. Also, if I'm not wrong, um, I think we can slow ourselves down a little bit, but we can use a buckler to give us quite a bit more defensiveness. It's fine. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, well, stick around the channel as I stated to you guys previously. Uh, there will be plenty more Disgaea 2 PC to come. There's going to be more tomorrow, more on Monday, and so on and so forth. I am quite tired. I finished my recording day, and I finished it with a bang. This is definitely the perfect game to end on because, well, it cracks me up. I, I really like this game a lot. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Either way, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>